Okay, boys and girls, this is the first look at a honeycomb on my G tablet, my ViewSonic G tablet. And as you can see, it has some of the honeycomb features, the uh, bookmarks for the browser. If you want to go to CNN, you just click on the bookmark there, and it'll come up and display that site. Down here at the bottom, uh, are the little the new icons. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's a little arrow to the left and it'll take you back. That's your back button. And uh, this one will pull up any recent that's your home button, I think it's called, and uh, up the recent uh, programs that you had that are still running. This one is the things that came up recently anyway, uh, whether they're running or not. And, of course, that's the down button. And um, it will do a lot of pretty cool stuff. Of course, it has the live backgrounds. As you can see, the background is is uh, kind of transparent in it as it's going by. Uh, there's a background behind it, and then there's the, uh, the interface. So uh, you got the various... Uh, one of the things that's, that's really cool is the... Uh, Gmail, and I really like it. Gmail looks a little bit different, a good bit different than it did uh, when it pulls up Gmail. And uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit off. All right, and uh, to show you kind of what each of the conversations looks like when it loads them, uh, they come up looking a little bit differently. And so, you know, you click on them conversation and then it pulls that conversation up and of course the, the back button will take you back steps and you're back where you were and uh, the gallery is pretty cool also and uh, all of these are with the uh, Picasa uh, button are showing that they're coming from Picasa instead of on the camera itself or in temp storage so if we go to one of these, it'll give us a display of the ones that are on that uh, that Picasso album. And then, of course, if you click on any one of them, it's going to bring that particular uh, picture up. And down here at the bottom, uh, one of the, the really cool things, and see the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the little arrows go away, but there are little dots here for the, uh, the various items. So we'll go back to this. And then if we go to the play button up here at the top, uh, there's a play button. If you click that, it'll actually go through a, a little slideshow of those photographs. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And, of course, we can stop it and go back with this one. Uh, so uh, what do I like about it? It's uh, really beautiful. It really is. If you want to add something, uh, you can either just hold on the background as you did and then all the uh, wallpapers are available here or the application shortcuts or the widgets if you want a widget uh, it'll show you the widgets that you have available to you there and uh, so if you wanted to add a widget say um, let's see uh, the uh, gmail widget and there it is just click on it and you can drag it up there as well but uh, what I did was just click it and it came up. And um, so now that widget is, uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one it went on to. Uh, there it goes, Gmail, a little widget here. And uh, in the background, it's kind of transparent. Uh, everything seems to work fine. Uh, there's a few times when it has been a little bit weird about um, hanging. Uh, I'm not sure if that's me or if it is the uh, uh, an issue with this particular version. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see that uh, Tweetcaster is running, if you can see that little icon. Uh, there's also a little icon there. There's the Tweetcaster icon. Uh, there's also a little icon for the battery level. And for the Wi-Fi level and the time, Tweetcaster. And this is the SD card that it shows here. 
Uh, that's also that's getting a little bit weird also, because the SD doesn't work. It works on the internal SD. And then of course Google. If you want to do the Google Voice, it does Google Voice. Uh, navigate to Hammond, Louisiana. Of course, it doesn't have uh, a GPS, but it will navigate to Hammond, Louisiana, and find you where you are by. In this case, it knows where I am by the uh, location of, of my Wi-Fi. I think it knows where I am. <laughs> it may not. Anyway, it, it will come up eventually when it uh, locates the... Uh, i got to turn off GPS. It's looking for GPS. Okay, well, anyway, you see what that does. And um, the other thing is kind of weird. Uh, the Applications button is up here at the top. I'll get you a list of all your applications, and they slide across instead of being uh, up and down. And uh, close that. And uh, some of the physical buttons don't work as they used to. Uh, they don't... <laughs> Uh, they don't, don't do anything. It clicks, but it doesn't do anything. You can have a, uh, a settings button for Wi-Fi to set up your Wi-Fi directly. And that's what's really weird is that uh, settings are a little harder to come by unless you have a button there for it. Uh, this is the wireless, and you see each of the different settings, and it has a sub-panel over on the right-hand side. And uh, you know the storage uh, looks a little more colorful than the other versions, but uh, it's still basically the same settings and everything. Okay. Uh, you can also get to settings from hitting the bottom button down here, and it tells us a little bit larger about the time and the uh, net, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi that I'm on, percent of battery. And this is the settings button over here. Now these are are some of the uh, items that are in notifications. One of the things I don't like about there's no clear for all notifications. You've got to clear one thing at a time like this. You just hit the button and it clears it. So um, that's one of the things I don't like, but uh, it is kind of interesting. And, and to get to the settings, you can go here to the settings button there. And then it's got a mini settings, and then you get the full settings at this level uh, when you hit this button here. Okay, there we go. And that's full settings. Okay. And I'm going to hit the back button, and it actually does. The physical back button did work that time. But if you hit the uh, menu button, the physical menu button, it doesn't do anything. The home button does take you back to the home screen. And uh, search does take you to uh, search. But uh, some things don't work the same. Okay, well, that's a quick look at Honeycomb. And this is uh, Zygong's uh, Honeycomb. You can check it on my website, www raywaldo.com and uh, you can find there a review. I haven't finished it yet, but it'll be up in just a little while. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.